Today, I'm going to show you how to improve the quality of the image in the Rift with super sampling, as well as view your performance stats and enable and disable ASW using the Oculus Debug tool. This is an update on the previous video I made a while back as things have moved around a bit since then. So if you want to improve your VR experience in the Rift, then stay locked, crush that like button, Enjoy, and I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the shit. You can follow me on Twitter, at Facepalm, with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to bring your game face. Let's get it done. Now, if you want to boost the quality of the image in the Rift and do a whole lot of other cool shit like voice commands, then you want this video here. And you can click the link on screen now to go to that video. If, however, you just want to improve the quality of the image, view your performance, and enable and disable ASW, then this one is for you. So we're going to do all this with the Oculus Debug tool, which you used to have to download, but is now included every time you download and install the Oculus Home software. Before we start though, make sure you have any VR related apps, especially Oculus Home, closed first. Otherwise your VR experience will be average to say the least. Once that's done, to start the debug tool, go to C Drive, your program files, Oculus, your support folder, and in this Oculus Diagnostics folder, you'll see the Oculus debug tool. So right click that, Go down to Properties, click on the Compatibility tab, and then tick this Run This Program as Administrator box, click Apply, and then OK. Now double click the Debug tool to open it up. So everything we want for this tutorial is right here in this service section. And the first thing we will look at is this Pixels Per Display Override field. This field lets you improve the quality of the image you see in the Rift by super sampling. And essentially what super sampling does not do is increase the physical pixels on your Rift's display panels. Those are fixed. What super sampling does do is improves the perceived quality of the Rift's image by removing aliasing, aka jagged and pixelated edges from the image you see. And it does this by rendering the image at a much higher resolution than the the one being displayed, then shrinking it to the desired size using the extra pixels for calculation. The result is a downsampled image with smoother transitions from one line of pixels to another along the edges of objects. Tech talk aside, it makes shit look better. So how do we use this to our advantage? Well, in this menu here, if we set a value of zero or one, then super sampling is off and the Rift is displaying images at their default values. Anything below one reduces the quality and anything above one raises the quality. Me, I use 1.5 for a noticeable improvement without taxing my GTX 1070 graphics card to death. Though you will have to try this out as higher values do require more powerful graphics cards. Just bear in mind here that a value of 1.5 roughly doubles the strain on your graphics card and a value of two roughly quadruples the strain on your graphics card. So use with caution. Though if you use this next part, you'll be able to see clearly what your PC and graphics cards can and can't handle, which is this visible HUD field right here. Enabling the visible HUD gives you visibility of a graph while you are in VR that displays how your PC is performing while you are in the Rift. The one on the left shows your app frame rate in Hertz, aka frames per second, which should be running at 90 frames per second, or if ASW has kicked in, then 45 frames per second. And I'll get to what ASW is in a second. For now though, the graph on the right is your performance headroom, which is the amount of available processing power your PC has free. If this number is running really low, then that tells you that you may need a PC upgrade, or you may have super sampling set too high and your PC just can't 
can't handle it. The asynchronous space warp, aka ASW field, allows higher graphics settings to be used on less powerful graphics cards by cutting your frame rate in half from 90 frames per second down to 45 frames per second when your graphics card is under too much pressure. Generally, I recommend leaving this set to auto as this will switch automatically between ASW on and off depending on if your PC needs it or not. I have noticed though, for fast paced games like this Doom 3 BFG VR mod, I found that a consistent 90 frames per second results in a much smoother experience, and so I have ASW set to off with that type of fast paced game. If you have a really low powered graphics card and CPU combo, then you can set ASW to always be on, and your frame rate will always run at 45 frames per second, though I wouldn't really recommend that. Stick to auto and generally you'll be fine as it's quite well designed. And having this frame drop indicator enabled here means that while you are in the rift, if you get a frame drop, you'll see a little F or a little C. F meaning the app or game drop the frame and C meaning the Oculus compositor drop the frame. Generally, a frame drop here or there isn't noticeable, but if you constantly get one of those letters, then I'd start either backing off on the super sampling, reducing the in-game graphics settings, or potentially upgrading to a better PC if possible. Also, bear in mind that for all this to work, the Oculus debug tool has to remain open at all times, and it has to be started before you start Oculus Home and jump into the Rift. You can minimize the debug tool, but if you close it, then whatever settings you had will not be working in the background. And that's it for this tutorial. So if you liked what you saw, then crush that like button, click the links on screen now for more content, or click the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.